In this video tutorial, we demonstrate how to create an internet clock to display the live date and time on a 128 by 64 OLED display using an ESP32 node MCU. This project is perfect for beginners and DIY enthusiasts who want to incorporate live date and time functionality into their electronics projects. For this project, we will use an ESP32 node MCU and a 128 by 64 OLED display that communicates with the ESP32 over the I2C protocol. The OLED display requires connections for power and data communication, which are easy to set up with the ESP32. Begin by connecting the VCC pin on the OLED to the 3.3V pin on the ESP32 and the GND pin on the OLED to the GND pin on the ESP32. For data communication, connect the SCL, clock, pin of the OLED to GPIO22, default I2C clock pin, and the SDA, data, pin to GPIO21, default I2C data pin, on the ESP32. Ensure these connections are secure. Once the wiring is complete, connect the ESP32 to your PC using a USB cable. This will both power the ESP32 and allow you to upload the code via the Arduino IDE. Make sure the correct board, ESP32 dev module, and port are selected under the Tools menu in the Arduino IDE. You will need the U8G2 and NTP client libraries to interface with the OLED display and fetch live date and time from an NTP server. Install these libraries through the Arduino IDE's Library Manager to make the project functional and easily display the time on the OLED screen. Use the provided code in this video description to connect your ESP32 to Wi-Fi and retrieve time information. Enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password in the designated fields of your code. Ensure that both the SSID and password are accurate and case-sensitive to establish a successful connection. It's important to adjust the NTP server settings for your specific location by entering the correct GMT offset value. This adjustment ensures that you receive the accurate time for your country. In the video description, we've listed the GMT offset values for different countries, be sure to reference this list and update your settings accordingly. Before compiling the code, make sure to modify the Wi-Fi and NTP settings for your ESP32. Enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password to enable network connectivity, and specify the NTP server along with the appropriate GMT offset value for your location. Once you've made these modifications, ensure there are no errors during compilation to guarantee smooth functionality. Once the code is verified, click the Upload button to transfer it to the ESP32. The Arduino IDE will compile the code once more and then upload it to the board via the USB connection. After the upload is complete, the ESP32 will automatically run the program, and the OLED display will show the live date and time according to your region's GMT offset value. For further clarification, we provide in-depth explanations of these features in additional segments of this video series. You can also explore more examples of code related to OLED display projects. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to create more content and provide valuable resources to our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.